So you see that how, how it doesn't matter how big it is the files and you can just simply drag and drop the files and the, from the from the view file systems. So then you have the just very simple uh, the country like Bangladesh you can just like put it like country like Bangladesh it's very simple one. So that's thing I need to be customized uh, this in the, in the future sections I need to be customized those functionalities that's I mean because uh, this is the lot of rendering lot of data coming from the Geo server that's that this is the complex application that you see but you got the idea of what I mean so you just simply drag and drop the any GeoJSON files and then in replication files it simply works automatically that's that's and then let's see that put it here in a very special geometry on since it's a functional geometry it works so that's that's i think so that means you have a lot of possibility if you don't try to if you use your base maps even though it works just like omit the you call the the base map but you didn't integrate it but other cases if you need it just add it and then you just your own functionality to modify these functionalities to to upload the static geojson file or dynamically create the geojson file put the geojson files drag and drop the or put the geojson file programmatically or drag and drop and then you can visualize where exactly your your geo functionality is located that's i mean the exactly the same location the same functionality that's the idea to to build it and then even though there's a functionality that i i will talk about this one then i will in continuing the future a screencast how can you add uh, uh, this this information? How can you store this information and then put it into the yeah, into the into the into the your backend data center and database like for GIS database? You can put it like this. So because we already did it, our 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 additional additional vector layers. So maybe this one's. So grouping layers uh, or the maybe we can can go over a very simple one <clears throat> so across the country this the users on files you can draw it and then even though you can modify and modify somehow it's the why it doesn't understand why it doesn't works but something need to be cross-checked you can modify the features and functionalities that's how i did it here <clears throat> so then let's have a recap what we did what do you need to be do what you need to be done that we, uh, for these cases or these functionalities so that means yeah, you need to prepare your 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 GeoJSON files. Uh, it, you can put it your all GeoJSON information into the into the files, and then you can uh, programmatically add this GeoJSON file into the into the into the your web applications. Or you can drag and drop the functionalities like you build your file path and drag and drop the your Geo GeoJSON file dynamically and visualize the information into the maps. That's that's the idea. To, to 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 give it to you the possibilities uh, how can you come up the, the all the possibilities and user users and possibilities functionalities uh, into the maps so and and then if you have some data if you need to use and geo server need to be communicate you use spatial database like post gis that's what i did here this case so that means i i have a data set into the post gis database and then I connect to the PostGIS database with the Geo Server, configure all the Geo service services, WMS and WFS. And after that, I calling these Geo services into the my web application. Mean means into the my my source code level. That's I I show, I show you here. That's how we call it the Geo Server services, WMS services, and build the, all the layers and then one by one and then call it one by one that's how i say that's the depending how you design or architecture your, your applications but i this is the one of the use case i try to share with you and you can put it your use cases how can you handle those complexity or simplicity 
into the your applications but uh, this is i say this is the really really uh, professional examples in the into the close that you application building from 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 the requirement level to the in the customer in the, in the, in the specification level and into the in the end clients end client demands this is the really practical experience practical use cases in the in the geo technology or geo applications so we just follow every step and i i think you can get really proper idea so let's go back to the our presentation sections so we we already discussed about these functionalities that's what we did here so we have a format different type of format you have a geojson form json format and you have a geojson format kml file also can be loaded to the to the your web application xml file double yeah, well known well known key well known well known byte format and w uh, well known wkt well known text format and um, key Keyhole markup languages, shape files, PDF, SBZ, scalable vector graphics, chip, GeoTrip, and GeoJSON, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of formats, but you can try it. Which format you support, which format you take the data uh, from the from third party or from your other applications and put this data into the your your, your file systems or in the geospatial database system, then load the defined your services, call the services into the your web application means you GUI application this one so I try to summarize it but you can get it more maybe more these things to the thing together you can learn it from Google it and get it properly if you don't understand properly just make it uh, make may, may write down commands and then I, I in, into my channels then I we will try our best to, to give it to you some feedbacks about that one so that's what we already already show you discuss the implementations and then the uh, implementation how means this is you have a you have a kml geojson files geo server file data and then you you drawable and modifiable vector feature functionalities and have so two buttons like you can change it from clear it and download it from the uh, from the your drawable features and then put this information need to be stored some database or some file system you can do also this one so this is the functionalities I mean. So how can you drag and drop the functionalities into the maps and, and that's and so on and so forth. Uh, these things together. So uh, I would like to thank uh, all of them. Uh, and then I will say just continue the, the all the screencast that I have it into my channels. And then and then write down your commands and your ideas and concept into the channels. And we try our best to come up uh, uh, our best solutions but because uh, that's i said this is one of the uh, really use cases really pro professional application development steps you need to be get from very beginning level to the to the to the end level and then you can get i believe you can really 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 quickly come up as as, as a geo application developer or geo engineer so geo software developer geo geo application developer that's really important those the application to nowadays doesn't matter google is looking for now facebook is looking for ebay or paypal or all custom all banks or insurance looking for those geo functionality geo applications because they need to see their distributions their services their customers their clients where they liquidated and they mean a lot of geo 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 processing tasks they may be the the corona issues needed need need, need, need uh, need to be defined is a pattern building where the the progress rate or broadcasting or forecasting those things need to be also the geo functionalities or if you have a your transportation and communication they need to also the geo functionality to visualize exactly where their infrastructure is located where their service is located where their customer is located that's why i said nowadays the geo application developer is really important this is the really career path that you need to be get it as a as a geospatial functionalities geospatial developer so that's really high demand that's i said that's i said in my from my from my last 15 years working experience that's i mean it's this one so just follow the channels subscribe the channel share with friends colleagues and i and write down your comments i try our best into our best to give it to you feedback and we will work together and get really best products into the into the into the into the community or into the development world i now i said bye bye and goodbye see you later bye bye